session. In this session, I am going to discuss about structure padding. Are you wondering what is structure padding? Let's begin. Structure padding is nothing but allocating more memory for a structure than required. And that extra bytes are called as padded bytes. But what is the reason behind this structure padding? This structure padding happens because of number of bytes accessed by CPU per CPU cycle. Before introducing this structure padding concept, CPU used to get one byte of memory per CPU cycle. This was one of the disadvantages. Consider below example where I have one character member, one integer member and one float member. Total size of this particular structure without structure padding is 9 bytes. In order to allocate this 9 bytes of memory, it needs 9 CPU cycle. To avoid this problem, structure padding concept has been introduced. In this structure padding, it will look for largest member and per CPU cycle it can access that many bytes of memory. Consider this example with structure padding. So here the largest member is both integer and float. So per CPU cycle it will get 4 bytes of memory. So it will allocate the memory as shown in this particular diagram. So while allocating the memory for a character member it require only 1 byte but Per CPU cycle, it accessed already 4 bytes. So 3 bytes are left empty. Then next we have integer member. So for that integer member, so this remaining 3 bytes are not enough. So it will access another 4 bytes of memory. So in that 4 bytes of memory, integer will be stored. Again for float, it will access another 4 bytes of memory. So in the middle, these 3 bytes are left empty and these are called as Added bytes. This is how structure padding happens. Let us take another example. In this example, I have a character member, a double member and an integer member. So here the largest member is double. So it will allocate a memory as shown in this diagram. So here while allocating the memory for a character member, it access 8 bytes of memory in which only 1 byte is occupied. Remaining 7 bytes are left empty. But the next member double cannot store with that 7 bytes. So it will go for another CPU cycle and get another 8 bytes of memory where double will occupy. And then again the third member is integer for that again it has to request for another 8 bytes of memory in which only 4 bytes are occupied with integer. So now in total 7 bytes plus 4 bytes are left empty. So these bytes are called as Added bytes. So when large number of bytes are getting wasted, this structure padding could be a disadvantage. So at that time, we need to avoid this structure padding. How to avoid this particular structure padding? There are two ways. One is using hash pragma pack of one. Another one is using attribute. So in both the cases, it will pack one byte of memory per CPU cycle so that we can avoid structure padding. Let us see this practically. So here, First, I am including the header file required that is just stdio.h and then I am declaring one structure. So, structure demo with one character member and one integer member. Now, if I see the size of this particular structure without avoiding the structure padding, what will be the size? I am going to print it up with the help of size of operator. So, I am using percentage LU format specifier to print the size. So I am finding the size of struct to demo. So if I execute this program, so it is giving me size of struct demo is 8 bytes. So this is without avoiding the structure padding. Now what will I do? I will edit the same program and I will use here hash pragma pack of 1. So here hash pragma is a miscellaneous directive that help us to pack the memory that is one byte per CPU cycle. So when I execute this particular program once again, you will see size of struct demo was five bytes. That means now there is no structure padding happening. So another way of avoiding the structure padding is using attribute. So syntax of using attribute is once the structure is declared before terminating it with semicolon. So I'm going to use attribute. So double underscore attribute 
double underscore open double parenthesis again double underscore then you have to write packed again write double underscore and close it so now if I run the same program so again I am getting size of struct demo is 5 bytes so this is how the structure padding can be avoided so this is about the structure padding this can be both advantage and disadvantage so we need to handle it accordingly meet in upcoming video thanks for watching take care